This is Fred from North 40 Fly Shop, and today I'm going to twist up a little fly pattern I call the Twisted Sculpin. This guy is uh, tied on a jig hook. It's adapted from uh, a fly that I've fished for years in Alaska. I found that in small sizes it works great in the Rockies. Uh, we're going to use some, well, just a good old rabbit strip tail because that just always seems to be effective. And then we're going to twist some polar chenille with some saddle hackle. We're going to finish off the head with some rabbit fur twisted up with some ice dub and got some dumbbell eyes on there. Jig hook keeps the hook point sharp. This guy fishes great. Uh, we'll have a blog post linked up to the video that you can uh, get some more details about it as well. All right, I'm going to start with a 60 degree jig hook. This is a U-series from Umqua. Uh, size 6 and 8 works just fine for this fly. And I'm going to start building a thread base with some black, or you could use olive, 140 UTC thread. Take that down. One thing about tying on these hooks is your, because there's a bend there and there's no defined eye to stop your materials from moving. A lot of times if you crowd that head with or that bend with materials your thread's going to slide around the gap. One little trick I've found is if you seal it just a little bit first, it gives it a little bit of friction. Your thread is generally will stop a little easier. So I'm just going to try that. Okay. First material we're going to throw on this hook is our head our eyes. Got some dirty dumbbells here in 3 16 Get those set in good. I'm really cranking them down. And I'm just going to make sure they're lined up where I want them. So this is next material, some polar chenille. This is olive brown. This is just the regular polar chenille, not the UV stuff. Just gonna tie that down to my rear point and uh, leave it there for a moment. Then I've got a couple of saddle hackles and I'm gonna be working these from the tips so I kind of kind of figure out my tie-in point just gonna work that back just a little bit I just need a few inches of this I'm gonna trim this off just make myself a little spot to lash it in I tie the first one going away from me here. Then I'm going to grab another one. And I've selected two hackles. They're slightly different sized. Um, they're also, they're not super webby. Um, I want this to be fairly stiff so that it uh, creates a little bit of a profile. So this one I'm going to tie facing me basically in the opposite direction. Get those lashed in good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sandwich my polar chenille between these two hackles and twist it all together. You can uh, Add a clamp if you've got a uh, gator clamp, but just finger twisting these will work too. Just gonna work that out just a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and polymer this up to the eyes to create my body.
You might have to make another twist as you, after you wrap a few turns. Get that all the way up to the eyes. All right, I got a few hackle tips pointing out, so I'm just going to try to sweep those all back. Fight them down with a few more turns of thread, and that looks pretty good. Then I'm just going to kind of pick these to the side and flatten them on the top because for my next stage, I'm going to pull a rabbit strip right down on top of this. So I've selected a black strip here. I want the tail to be about an inch, inch and a half long, depending on what you, uh, what you ultimately want this fly to be. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick the point where I want that tail length to be and just poke it right over my hook. Just take that out and we'll pop it right back in. And then we're just going to tie that strip off right behind the eyes. And trim it. All right, next stage is I'm gonna build up just a little bit of collar with some Senyo's laser dub. I don't want this to be real long, but I just wanna add a little bit of bulk. So I'm gonna tear this so that it's relatively short. Tie that right behind the eyes. And then I'm just gonna kind of flare it around a little bit. Secure it down a little bit more. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom with just a little bit. All right, gives us just a little bit of a skirt. That kind of blends into where those hackle tips are sticking out and gives that little sculpting profile. And then I'm gonna finish this off by building a dubbing loop with some rabbit and some peacock ice dub. Get my loop set up there. Should have brought a dryer sheet with me. It's all staticky in here today. All right, so I'm gonna grab a little layer of Peacock Ice Dub. And I'm gonna use the back of this hook bag to set my materials on. So right now I'm just laying out about a two and a half, three inch grouping of ice dub. And then I'm gonna grab some olive rabbit. This is a olive variant. And I'm just gonna tear this in some chunks right off of the hide. Lay this down on my ice dub. Then I'm gonna sandwich a little bit more ice dub over the top to scrim this all together. Just 
kind of pack that down a little bit see if I can get this into my thread close enough I think Then I'm going to give this guy a good spin. I forgot a brush, but I've got a bodkin here, which will work just fine for kind of picking that out a bit. Then we're just going to sweep it all back like hackle, kind of get it all folded over on one side. Then I'm going to palmer it behind the eyes, get one good turn, and then I'm going to figure eight it under, over, back around. Let's see if I've got room for one more turn here. Then I just need to kind of find my way in through all that material to get my tie-in point. Oops. There we go. Sometimes you can just kind of take your fingers and pack that back so that you keep your thread from going around that corner. And then I'm going to just give it a little back pressure and tire off. All right, so once that's all on there, then this head needs a little brushing and picking and so forth. But when it's all said and done, you end up with a little flash, nice sculpting profile. It's also on a jig head, so this guy will, you can fish it right down in the bottom, drop it in the rocks, get jiggy with it, and make it fish it like a sculpin. Sell it to the fish. Twisted sculpin. Oh, oh, oh.